have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Céline's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command? <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Celine is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace.
The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we meet at last. I've heard so much about you. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Tell me there's more to your suspicion than the elves were acting dodgy. That ambassador, Briala, used to be a servant of Selene's. That is, until my cousin had her arrested for crimes against the Empire to cover up a political mistake. If anyone in this room wishes Selene harm, Inquisitor, it's that elf. She certainly has reason. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? What? A martyr? Don't be absurd. One of the Trevelyans, I've heard. me, my lord. You haven't seen a ring lying around, have you? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. That's a terrible predicament. If the Countess finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. out of the fade by a 
and rusty. What is Gaspar? Gaspar never struck me as pious. You must think he gains the military advantage with the Inquisition. Lady Nightingale makes me nervous. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Cassandra is usually not the subtle or cautious type. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And rest, they watch over us all. Friend, you can fight in the Inquisition. I wish there was more news coming. Hmm. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan, son of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais. Right hand of the divine Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? 
Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Yvette, uh, how are Mama and Papa? Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? Inquisitor? Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them? Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antiva says so. Is it true? Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, my lady. How dull Redcliffe must have been, then. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. I'll see you later. Another time. Can you believe the Inquisition of Felix Frank? How could the Emperor's afford to renovate the palace without them? The band is still waiting for their refreshments. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court, as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than court jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me.
This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. I don't suppose you'd like to dance, Lady Cassandra? Now? This is hardly the time. We're here to find a killer, not dance. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Celine was having the entire week. I still remember the day they came to town. I don't like that brand new. Nobody should own as many hunting dogs as he does. Make her. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. Interesting. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden, statuette. Interesting. Well, that's useful. should look around. Boring. Get these pastries out to the diplomats. The Duchess has asked for Get these Did pastries out to the diplomats. Did you hear what Gaspar said to Duke The Duchess has asked for too many. The Zizway is closed. Anymore. Please, use the main entrance to the bull. And they're still waiting for their refreshments. Did I see you talking to Duke Cyril de Montreux? It was merely being polite. You don't want to be here, stranger. made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Hmm.
Well, well. What's this? with some serving girl while I deal Did with Gaspard. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. Water did you come from? Everyone knows that. Good to know. Gaspar? Hmm. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servants' wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Interesting. But there must be something here. Well, well. What's this? I don't like that Grand Duke. Nobody should own as many hunting dogs as he does. Maker, if I have to clean up another puddle... returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. Tonight of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. I heard the Inquisition was here. My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. 
They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. It's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. This is all so familiar. I half expect my mother to materialize from the crowd and criticize my manners. Is this how the elite of Tevinter carry on? You could almost mistake this for a soiree in the Imperium. The same double dealing, elegant poison, canapes. It's lacking only a few sacrificial slaves and some blood magic. But the night is still young. Try not to get too drunk while I'm gone. You ask so much of me.
Is it true the Inquisitor was added out of the fate by Andrasti? Well, that's useful. Interesting. Just gossip.
Waste of time. Good evening, Inquisitor. There will be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled Herald of the Faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. Lord Severin Ducey, Baron of Jada. Accompanying the Baron. Has anyone seen Lucien? He was supposed to have the servers in the ballroom almost an hour ago. Ah, there's the Dowager. Don't make eye contact. She wouldn't want to. Why would the Empress invite that elf? Again. I have an idea, Josephine. You should invite the elf. It's been fun, Third husband, Pierre, lost him. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Prince Ezio Valisti of the House of Valisti in Antiva, and third talent. Is that really the Herald of Andraste? I expected someone to Maximilian Swift, Mistress Nightingale. What a pleasure to see you again. Where has that servant gone? Elves Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You haven't dazzled the court this evening. But at least you've avoided embarrassing yourself. Well done. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. 
He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navaran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Did you see Gaspard Dog? You have such beautiful hair. My dear Maximilian, it took four chevaliers to her. The Duchess has asked us to serve more of the I'm so glad Maman did not She's want to, to attend. She always ruled. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers, trimmed with pearls, and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles, on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost, and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am.